Hello friends, welcome to the e-learning program and initiative by Science Park, Savitri Bhai Phule, Pune University. Let's start part 2 of the video of the chapter Physical and Chemical Changes of Standard 7 where we are covering chapter 13 from SSE board and chapter 6 from CBSE board. Now, uh, in this video, we will get to know more about chemical changes like rusting, fire, fire cracking. Now, let's see uh, some important characteristics of chemical changes. Changes that involve formation of new substances are called as chemical changes. Iron oxide formed by the combination of iron with oxygen in air in the presence of moisture or humidity is generally we call it as rusting is a chemical change. Some other, other examples are cutting a piece of apple which turns black when exposed to air is a classic example of oxidation reaction. The photosynthesis process where plants convert carbon dioxide and water to food in the presence of sunlight is a chemical change. Digestion of food in our body is a classic example of chemical change. Uh, let's see this experiment. If we would have been science park, I would have shown you this experiment. So I will explain it, it, it here and whenever we are going to science park, we will definitely do this experiment. Now the experiment, the aim is the position of copper on iron nails. This is a classic example of uh, a displacement reaction where copper get displaced in the place of iron. Now we will need copper sulfate a blue vitriol, iron nails, a beaker, a glass rod, some water and sandpaper. So you have to take 10 ml of water in a beaker and add some copper sulphate crystals into it. Dissolve it with a glass rod and record the color of the solution or keep some um, solution in the test tube aside. Now clean the iron nail thoroughly with sandpaper, record the color, now dip the nail in copper sulfate solution for few minutes. After few minutes, take out the nails and record the color of the iron nail and solution. Now here in this experiment, observation is solution of uh, copper sulfate will turn from blue to green and the nails changes its color from reddish brown to uh, changes to reddish brown from its original color which is black. Now this is the uh, photograph of the same experiment. Now in this beaker of copper sulphate, I have kept a iron nail here. Now when you uh, keep the iron nail for few minutes, let the time pass, the color of the copper sulphate fades down and the copper metal which is rusting iron brownish red color gets deposited on the surface of iron. Now this is the reaction of that where copper sulphate plus iron gives you ferrous sulphate and you get metallic copper here. Now these are again some examples of chemical changes. A chemical change or chemical reaction occurs whenever a new substance is formed. Evidence that a new substance is formed are change in color, gas is given off or a new solid is formed. Like here in, the, in this uh, beaker, when you add another chemical, otherwise the solution is watery. But the moment this chemical touches the surface of this watery solution, it turns bright yellow. This is a chemical change. And lastly, change in temperature. In some of the reactions, the outside surface of the uh, test tube becomes very hot. That is definitely a chemical change. Even following examples are classic examples of chemical changes. Burning of wood. When egg is cooked, it becomes white and yellow solid. 
so metal panels on a car rusts fireworks explode concrete hardens an egg cooks paper burns all these are chemical changes rusting of iron now uh, have you ever seen uh, have you ever uh, uh, dropped aspirin tablet in water it gives you effervescent effervescence i mean there are thousands of bubbles comes out of the tablet that is called that this property is called as effervescence this is a chemical now let's do this experiment at home if we would have been in the science park we would have done this experiment to understand the chemical change and how the reaction happens now here what you have to do is you have to take vinegar now vinegar you get from any uh, grocery shop and a baking soda which is also readily available in the grocery shop so we need vinegar baking soda a balloon and a bottle right now uh, let's see the details of the reaction now first you have to take some baking soda and with the help of funnel uh, pour the baking soda in a balloon okay now take a bottle simple bottle and add vinegar solution in the bottle now you have to tie this balloon in which we have baking soda at the mouth of the bottle now you have to take care that the balloon the 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 baking soda will not slip into the bottle immediately you tie the rubber now once the rubber is properly tied here you have to uh, take up the balloon and then all the baking soda will go in the bottle the moment it goes in the bottle the balloon starts flaring up okay at the end of the reaction you will see a flattered balloon now burning of wood and burning of magnesium ribbon is also example of chemical changes magnesium ribbon burns in air or in oxygen to form magnesium oxide which dissolves in water to form magnesium hydroxide which is acidic in uh, nature because it turns blue litmus into red color now i have some questionnaire for all of you i have given you some task here now classify the following examples as physical and chemical changes you have to pause the video here write down all the examples try to write down all the answers that you think are correct and once you are done you can resume the video and then you can check your answers with mine okay thank you bye bye